Well, these are the Murray River Corticated Retrievers. The earliest we can find similar dogs in Australia was 1844 in Hobart. Uh, we believe that they were brought to Australia by people who worked them in the United Kingdom. And um, they were good working dogs, so they brought them out here. At the time in the United Kingdom, any brown, curly, retriever type dog was a, sort of a, a common dog, and it was the dog of the poacher. So they were brought out here, and they were also taken to the Americas where they developed into the American Water Spaniel, and here they developed into the Murray River Curly Coat Retriever. Um, mostly used as a meat dog to fetch meat to retrieve ducks off punts in the river um, to protect campsites especially in the, in the gold rush area and because they were such a useful dog to just keep breeding them and keep using them and they have survived since the 1800s uh, almost unchanged like we've got photos going back to the 1890s where they, they look the same as they do today. Well, with the new laws because the Murray River Curly Card Retriever is not a recognised breed by the Australian National Kennel Control Council the danger with the new laws is that <coughs> uh, they cannot be registered in councils who say that, um, that um, dogs must be desexed unless they're a member of a breed body and that breed body is uh, uh, recognised by the Australian National Kennel Control Council. So in a backdoor way they're doing what other people have tried to do for years and if we don't get together, band together and get some recognition, the dog that we've known in Australia for 160 years could become extinct. I mean, they're as Australian as a Kelpie, they're probably older than a Kelpie. And, I mean, even this last duck season, there were people using these dogs for what they're bred for. Now he's hurting, now he's hurting. <laughs>